Hello, and welcome to another How to Draw Stuff with me, Calvin Innes. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to show you how to draw um, another monster. Really nice and simple, this one. Let's start off with a circle. We're going to go for kind of a sad mouth, but then just curve that up at the sides. Okay, now the eyes on this guy. We're going to go for something quite small and quite big there. Come back to these in just a second. About two thirds up, either side. Sweep up. And then sweep down. And this, uh, these are going to be our monster's wings. Now from this point up here, at the top of the wing, go one, two. Same on this side, one, two. Okay, and this gives us a shape for our wings. So between each of these points, you just curve it upwards and you have your, kind of like a bat's wing. I'll come back to these in just a second to add some more detail. Now we also want some little arms dangling down. Let's keep those really simple for now. And let's go for some little legs too. So your arms and your legs, they're a little bit thicker where they join onto your monster. Um, and then literally just see little blobs of the hands and the uh, and the feet. I don't need any more than that at this point. Um, I'm going to go for a couple of ears, pointed ears, on either side. So the curved triangles, and that's it for the uh, sort of first stage. Now we're going to go in and start adding a little bit of detail. So let's start off with the eyes. And with the eyes, just sketch around them really rough sketchy circle building it up so they become nice and dark and it kind of it's this really nice sort of creepy effect you get from doing that put a little pupil in there and do the same on this side Just sketching around building up those layers just falling around in a circle you start to get these areas that are a bit darker, some that are a bit lighter. But when you do this, you get these really sort of crazy looking eyes. Put a little pupil in there. Maybe do a couple of little bits around the pupil as well. Now from the mouth, uh, I'm gonna go same again, little sketchy little bits, but each of these along the top lip is pointing downwards all going in towards that line and the bottom lip you want them all coming outwards and this starts to get a little bit of depth to your mouth makes it feel like those lips are kind of like puckered um, pulled back into the face and let's just stick a couple of little teeth on there just hanging over I'm um, going to put a little bit of shading underneath the lip there just to bring that to life. And then at the side of these mouths, this mouth, I'm just gonna darken those areas off a little bit. There we go. Okay, now on these wings, let's just thicken, thicken up those tops there and then thicken these up slightly. So they're going down to a point here, getting a bit thicker as they go back. Same on this side. Now with these curves, you can start to roughen these up a little bit. So as if there's kind of little torn pieces of, uh, of the wing. So using those initial lines that you drew, just adding in a few extra details. And then from up here, um, shading with the wing, just sketch lines coming outwards in those gaps. Yeah, and this creates a little bit of a little bit of depth. Makes those wings a little bit more interesting. There we go. And then in the same sort of idea, just following along in the same direction. Just add a couple of little tufts and scratches. Not too much. There we go. 
just around the edge of those wings. Okay, now on the ears. So starting on the uh, inside bit here, you can do a little tuft, same there, a little tuft, and those become the inside of our ears. So you now we can sketch that in ever so lightly. And that just gives us a little bit of depth inside the ear. We're going to use this shape around here to kind of start to guide where our hair goes. So on the top of the head, the hair can kind of stick upwards and shooting out to the side. And as you come towards the bottom of your monster, start to bring that hair down a bit more. So now the arm there, so the hair is actually hanging downwards as it would do. So the sides you can shut up a little bit, go up to the sides, but as you come further down the side, there you go. Start to get these hairs kind of hanging lower down. Uh, with these arms, let's just sketch those in a little bit darker. You'll notice with these, I'm just going over, over the lines very roughly uh, a few times to get this kind of really nice sketchy quality to them. A little bit of shading on the back legs, a little bit of shading on the front legs, but not too much detail. I really don't need to, to worry about that. And quickly, same sort of idea on these, uh, these ears, adding in a few bits of hair at the top there. And then the last little thing we need to do on this guy is add some extra hair and texture in here. So press it a little bit lighter if you're using a pencil. Um, if you're using a drawing tablet like I am today, um, again, you can press a little bit lighter, but all of these hairs want to be going outwards. So sketching those hairs all the time, heading out towards the edge of your monster. Coming with another layer there. And you'll notice that as I get towards the center of this character, as you get sort of towards, uh, towards the eyes and the mouth, get a little bit lighter, put a little bit less, well, less hairs in there, a little less detail, because you don't really want to take away from all the cool stuff you've done. If you completely fill the face with too many hairs, you're not going to be able to see the stuff you've already drawn. And then last of all, it's going to go in and add a few wispy sort of stray hairs here and there. And just a couple of little specks, maybe a little, and a little fleas hanging off, little bits of dirt. Just brings your monster to life a little bit more. And let's just, a little bit of shadow underneath, show that guy flying off the ground. And there we go. There is your furry flying ball monster thing. Um, so have fun drawing this one. Thank you for joining me. Um, and I will see you all again next time.